So we'll just go here for a couple miles, and then we'll take the next stop. Okay. A little traffic out here today. Just as it predicted. <laughs> yeah. So this will tell you the next exit's coming up and what's at the next exit. You can see oh, there's nice. lodging, restaurant, Union 76 station, standard careful, standard wow. station. So we'll take exit 283 in a mile and a quarter. And then this has been totally redesigned for 2012. Completely new interior, exterior, much more luxurious technologically advanced in the previous year. More horsepower, better gas mileage, and a lot more options. Hmm. And you see, it's, it's, you're on the freeway, and it's raining, and well, this would probably be as loud as it is outside, but it's still pretty quiet in, inside. Very. You also have adjustments on the steering wheel. Is it on now? Mm -hmm. So you can change the radio station, adjust the volume, answer, hang up your phone. It'll even tell you when you need service just by pressing one of the arrows on the steering wheel. From this screen right there, press the arrow up. And you see a digital readout for how fast you're going. And press the arrow up again. Fuel consumption and range, you can see it go 528 miles on this tank. Press it again. And average miles per gallon, distance till empty. Then turn right here, right at the light. Pretty much everything you can do from the steering wheel. Change the radio station. If you have an iPod, you can change the song. You can use voice commands to do everything from the navigation to changing the radio station. And then press the arrow to the left and press it again to the left. You can put all this in memory, the interior, exterior lights, the convenience features where the steering wheel will go all the way up. You can have the car lock at nine miles an hour. You can put all that into the memory seats for three different drivers. And then just go to the right where the school bus is going. Okay. This car has something new for 2012 also, it's called Attention Assist. There's 70 sensors throughout the car that monitor how you drive, and that will let you know if you get drowsy. And a coffee cup on your dash will start flashing if it feels that you're not paying attention and driving erratically. Steering wheel too. You can also it'll also tell you when you need to bring it in for service. So press the arrow to the left again. Press it again to the left, and it'll tell you your tire pressure. It'll tell you when to bring it in for service, and it'll tell you if there's any messages there. If you're low on any kind of fluid, uh, the second one down is your tire pressure. It'll tell you the tire pressure in all your tires, and press OK. There's the tire pressure, and then press the arrow down again. Uh, press it down again. Move it back. And then press it down. Assist Plus will tell you when you need service. So on 337 miles, you're going to need to bring it in for service. About once a year, every 10,000 miles, you'll need an oil change in routine service. And then press the arrow to the left again. And press it again. That's your driver assistance. That's your attention assist. to monitor your driving and let you know if you're going to get drowsy. Engine. So, 2011 you had 268 horsepower, now you have 302 horsepower. In 2011 you had an average 15 miles a gallon in town and 20 on the highway. In 2012 you're up to 17 in town and 22 on the highway. So 
not only get more horsepower, but you get better gas mileage. And this is a full-time all-wheel drive with electronic stability control. So not only do you get full-time traction on all the wheels, the electronic stability control, a sense of wheel slipping, reduce the torque in the wheel to slip you to help you gain control. In other words, keep you from fish tanning, keep you from understeering or oversteering. So it's a very stable car. You can just buy the customer parking.